me just that's say. your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. A new untold story, the first of 2023. Welcome back. Uh, what episode number are we? 325. Three, Got anything, Bauer? Hold up. Well, this mic, the mic, the, the, the mic part's facing. You tur- turn it. We got ang- we got obtuse angles, and it's moving. Uh, yeah. No, this setup's cool, though. It has brick. All right. Setup's cool. Are uh, you crossing the wire across your chin? No, fl- no, flip the headphones around. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, n- yeah. There we go. And then... Uh, and you got it. You know how screws work. Yeah, tighten it up the top there. Mm. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bright colors. The, the, the brass piece. This? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> just, a, just swivel it. Swivel it a little closer. This is on me. Yeah. You good? But then you're going to lean back and you're going to be far from the mic. Yeah, it's slowly. I can feel it. It's going to move. It's coming okay. towards you. We're good. We're good. Are we good? Uh, what episode number was it? Three two three two five. That's. Uh, it's hard to even waste my time on these ones. Abilene, Texas. Ah. Uh. San Angelo, Texas. What Abilene, Texas? People know it for one reason. Abilene Christian. Yeah, it's the top of drop down menus. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess yeah. it is. So when you played like NCA football on PS2, that was the first choice. So all the poor spaz kids would play with them because they were Double too clicking. excited, <laughs> uh, too hyperactive to like go past. What's their nickname? Scroll through. I don't. I don't know. They're not even in division. They're not even in Division One right now. They're not even in FCS. They got disbanded. Um, what do I got? Yeah, you got something for them? Abilene. Their mascot's Willie the Wildcat. Willie the Wildcat? Indeed. Abilene Christian enrollment, 5.2 thousand. That's I'm pretty sure decent. Allen High School has more people than that. Um, what else? Yeah, you're destroying them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No survivors left in your wake, brother. <laughs> They're hardly, um, they're the same size as one of the biggest high schools. It is one of the biggest high schools <laughs> in the world. Yeah, probably. Wait, yeah. bigger than like an Indian high school? An Indian high school? Yeah. I don't know. Um, Abilene is known as the official storybook capital of America because it has the largest collection of sculptural storybook characters. They're just four foot tall, rust colored statues of the stinky cheese man and <laughs> rainbow fish. They, I love get, stinky. You would get man. more stimulation from just reading like the soft cover book. Nothing there. Um, <laughs> well, things to do. Sam's Club. Okay. Good samples. Sam's Club. Yeah, like the line. Pro- the line there is out the door the aisles are empty the lines out the door for the the chicken skewers bouncer at the door checking your breath for teriyaki <laughs> no one's buying everyone's the free so people go to brunch at super eight <laughs> for the cereal dispenser um <laughs> it's not quite west texas so like the worst cowboys in america you can't if you're in El Paso, you can't lasso a U. You go to Abilene. What else? You can't turn up in Abilene. Oh, fat, fat. Yeah, I assume. Very fat. If the, the people in San Antonio are big, then it, I don't know. When we were in San Antonio, it was shocking to see. It was everybody. Have you guys ever been to San Antonio? Driven through it. Yeah. On a bus. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But no, never visited. A big, they're a big people. It's the Samoa of the U.S. One celeb, <laughs> one big natural celeb again. Is Do we own Samoa? <laughs> Oops. What'd you say about Samoa? <laughs> I called, I called uh, 
San Antonio, the Samoa of the United States, when in turn, it's actually Samoa is the Samoa of the United the American States. American Samoa is. Okay. Well, Samo that would make some, Yeah. Samoa is a, a different island. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Is it? Separate know. country, two, uh, two Samoas. Um, yeah, I have nothing for Abilene. I don't think anyone's listening from there. No. So that's the only reason to do it is to like get, get feedback the people the from there. Yeah. I don't. Jessica Simpson was born there. Oh, okay. Moved immediately. Oh. She grew up there. She would look like Louis Capaldi. <laughs> um, fat. So, yeah, fat, gross. He's so lucky he's an amazing singer. No, he's not lucky at all. He's just, no, he's not. He's not. Poor guy. I he has a great sense of humor. Has to. Yeah. I'd love to have him on the show. Um, I have the news. Uh, very condensed, though, so I'm just going to speed through this, start the timer, a minute 30, getting through the news. After this guy revs his engine. You think the podcast, you think the listeners could hear that? Probably. Yeah, Pro I think so. Cool. Uh, ready? Count me down, Kyle. Three, two, one. Go. Three, two, one. You can't just... Go. Thank you. An Iranian chess player was warned not to return to Iran after competing without a hijab on. Damn, that sucks. She can't go back to Iran. Where is she going to get banned from next? Mordor? That's like banning Mook from O Block. Just enough. <laughs> but enough about the hijab. The only head rap I'm interested in is Lollipop by Little Wayne. The song just went diamond a few weeks ago. Wayne's first Diamond song. Diamond Lollipop sounds like a Lifetime Achievement Award for an Oompa Loompa. Diamond Lollipop? Nah, let's talk Glass Onion. The Netflix movie broke records on social... Uh, uh, broke records... Oof. The Netflix movie broke records and social media upon release, having viewers question if Daniel Craig and Hugh Grant portrayed a gay couple in the film. The answer is no. They are two adult men that pursue a career in acting, making them just real-life gay. Speaking of gay, <laughs> the first trans woman on death row has been executed in Missouri. When imprisoned, many were outraged that she was in a women's facility, finding out until finding out that she did indeed have bottom surgery, learning that learning the lesson that the lass isn't always peener. Somebody <clears throat> Somebody who did refuse bottom surgery is professional comer Nick Cannon, who scoffed at the suggestion of a vasectomy from Andy Cohen on New Year's Eve. There's more little cannons in his house than on a risk board. Nick has came in the clam more than Peter Griffin. More seed than BitTorrent. Bigger loads than GTA. Seaman has more eyes on it than a Spanish Jim Carrey film of the same name. Nick Cannon is f fucking like a newlywed more than Jenna Marbles and her husband who just tied the knot and immediately had their home invaded by a stalker. Marble's stopping home invasion. Is this a Macaulay Culkin movie? Home Alone. <laughs> that reminds me of when I borrowed $20 from Joey Camasta. I need to pay him back. Less than, of course, <clears throat> less than, of course, than what Benedict Cumberbatch family owes Barbados in reparations. I was worried until I realized he's full-blooded Brit British. Luckily, my German-Italian ass doesn't have to worry about the sins of my ancestors who migrated to the southern United States in 1835. Benedict has since apologized for the sins of his great-great-great-grandfather. Doesn't sound too sorry calling him great three times. The man has sold more people than a magazine kiosk. Time. <laughs> Dog. You uh, came in, you barely missed it. Two twenty. I stuttered Jesus a little bit. Christ. Yeah, you, you had a whole minute of stutters. Bravo. Dog. Bravo. Bravo. I also saw Edward Norton found out he is slaves. It sounds like, was there some sort of like... Yeah, there's been people research... I guess you said what? Edward Norton's family owned slaves. Well, I think his great, great, great. Yes, exactly. I and think like, that's... I think... If I, you grew up in the South, I mean... I think if you're alive, you have ancestors that were bad. Probably. That's how you're alive today. Right. Yeah. Very true. He said, I remember the quote, it said, um, he doesn't know what to say about it, but it needs to be talked about. Oh, that's a Norton really good that? answer. Yeah. Yeah. He's putting the ball in your court. Yeah. Um Yeah. I don't I love saying that. I don't know what you want me to say. It is kind of brilliant yeah. just to be like, what's your take on that? Why don't you inform me? Yeah. I'm, try I'm trying to listen. <laughs> like, like people trying to make him feel bad? Not really. All like the Anderson Cooper was told in a sit down interview. Like they brought out the uh the files. Yeah. It was like, Yeah, your your relative owned a bunch of slaves. That was a and, show yeah. about oh, finding yeah. uh 
famous people's ancestors, but they treated it like a to catch a predator moment. They like they were like, yeah, like try to, to get him with a gutcha. Gu- All right, okay. <laughs> you don't know that, dude. I mean, I I truly think if you if you have if you were alive, you have an ancestor that probably did fuck shit. <laughs> probably they were probably most likely wilding. That yeah, like fuck shit used to be a daily occurrence for people back in the day. Mm-hmm. There were no rules. No. There were. <laughs> Kind of. Almost always. Yeah. That was like the first page of the Bible was a rule. True, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the first bar. Yo, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. You talking about you meant like there were no bylaws. Yeah, there were there were minor repercussions. You didn't yeah. get caught doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. But the Bible, yeah, that's the first rule book, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like the fir- the first thing that that was like, yeah. There were rules before sex. Yeah. Don't eat the apple. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking about that with Jack the Ripper. They're like, yeah, there's a serial killer in London and the cops are like, fuck, dude. I don't know. See how you're shaking your foot like that? That's an adaptive behavior. You've been watching that YouTube that account way too much. You're showing signs. You're distressed yeah. about the topic of murder. I'm thinking That's about good. a serial killer. Yeah. I do this. I'm trying to stop it, but it's really bad. I see myself on shows and I'm like shaking like a leaf. That's why you shouldn't watch yourself. If I were you, I would. What are you wearing? Uh, I'm, this is a random, I think I played an away game last night. None of these are my clothes. Dude's wearing the mall. I'm none you, of the, none of this is my clothes. Dog. None of this is my clothes. Lennox on your body. Yeah. <laughs> so um, wait, what's the, what's the top? The top is, uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, some sort of company. I just like the, I like the color pink. So I just grabbed it and it fit my head. Right. I'm talking mm-hmm. about your, your top, not your oh, hat. Yeah. Um, I don't know actually. Defender of faith. Yeah. I'm is that Christian a, is now. that a dude's hoodie though? No. You just have a, you stated a man sized girls. No, I think that she must just buy man hoodies. That's uh-huh. like a dude. Mm-hmm. I, I got some it, it bad a, news for you. It was brother. a trick. Dude. It was a trick. It yeah, a trick. I know. I think it, that just was an, another guys. Uh, no, nah, dude, she just likes oversized clothing. It's comfortable. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> you got in trouble actually, because I gave you a pair of sweatpants and then you were wearing them. Yeah, dude. You you it's not your fault. I'm an idiot. And um yeah. I you gave me a pair of sweatpants. They're really cool. I love them. I wore them all the time. And um my memory failed me and I had a, a girl over and I thought that she had given them to me. <laughs> I forgot that my boy Nick gave me them. Yeah. And so I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm wearing the sweatpants you gave me." And she's like, "I didn't give those to you. You're dead." And then I was in a house of horrors because I was like, listen, another girl didn't give these to me. I don't know where these came from, but she just was like, oh, yeah, for sure. That sounds like it was one of those situations where the more that you try to figure out the truth, the more it sounded like I was lying. And then one day, randomly, Nick, I warmed to the office and Nick was like, oh, you're wearing the sweatpants I gave you. And I was like, oh, my fucking God, it was Nick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm touched how you think like you confused me with a lover. I know. I that's pretty you. that's pretty sick i view you that way yeah, i got i got pinched on that one uh, uh today's episode is brought to you by hello fresh kyle what you know about hello fresh uh what what the fu- what do they got on the the docket now with that like 2023 it's yeah winter. they're rolling out new flavors yeah. what's the flavors uh southwest pork and bean burritos potatoes with bernays sauce falafel power bowls seared steak okay yeah i've had every single one of those today Me too, a few times yeah um <laughs> You're, yeah, you're stuffed. And I gave the first one a 10. Okay. Mistake, because like the second one was better. Yeah, what do you even do? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Did you Don't go to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Not even, aside from the hassle and like the the cost, it's late. It's just late. Don't, get, don't be at the grocery store. And you know what's a huge turnoff? Seeing people snacking. This cuts out the snacking. You're yeah, full. Yeah, don't snack either. I don't snack. Have you ever been turned on by a chick eating a goldfish cracker? Um, yeah, but go use another example. <laughs> uh, Teddy Graham. No, never. Yeah. Yeah, it's disgusting. Oh. Especially the little cartwheel one. I worked at a grocery store for three summers and it was the. Actually, I. Respects. Respects. 
I passed out in respects. You told me that. I glossed over the fact that you were at respects. Yeah. My family chain. I passed out in Doug respects when I was place. home for Christmas break. I'll talk about that. Go to hellofresh.com slash story21 and use code story21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's 21 free meals plus free shipping with code story21 at hellofresh.com slash story21. Yeah, dude. Respects the clientele there is everybody to walk in the door. You almost have to be 92. It was it, it, it was all old people. No women. No, not even no yeah. girls. No women. Yeah. It was like you pass when you, you're too old and gross to be even be a woman. Oh, like. Sh- like, yeah, no there, there are vagina havers like, there. Yeah, like that old. It was just old person. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and that the, the employees you were one probably had people falling all the time in there. Yes, religiously. (laughs) I had this insane sinus infection. It was like my first time standing up for the day and I went down there and I fell over in the jello aisle. And I took down a bunch of boxes of jello with me. Probably the best place to fall. You fell you passed out because of a sinus infection? It went up and became an ear infection and and my head just got filled with liquid. What? Yeah, and then like my ears were like sloshed around, it popped and liquid came out of my eye. Yeah. Liquid came out? Yeah. Oh my of God. what? Of my ear. <laughs> in respects? No, I just fell in respects. I was going down there because... I can get the footage of that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, find it. And then I was just like leaning, sweating. I got myself back up. I was with my sister. And uh, yeah, because we went down there to get your, jello for apples. Did your apples. little sister help you up? Did, you, did your parents used to put... So you would eat apple slices, put raspberry jello powder on your apples? Not not close. Okay. Not remotely. We ran down there yeah. to get jello to do that because we were having apple slices the next morning for breakfast with jello on them. I think it's a Weight Watchers tip. I think it's like one point. It sounds so pleasant. It's really nice. Yeah. Raspberry jello powder on a green apple slice. Yeah. But we went down there to get more jello because we used it all because we had apples that that day as well i fell over bad mm-hmm. i've been sick for like a month and a half misery loves company that's music to my ears <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you good um i i don't know okay. i feel better but i think it's just me getting used to that i mean it's getting used to like this is how it is what you get for christmas uh i watched i binge watched every Every good true crime video Didn't on YouTube. That's what you got for Christmas? Um, what do I have? Rest in peace to 18-year-old Sarah Stern, slain by her childhood friend. Rest in peace to 24-year-old Lauren Giddings, stalked and slaughtered by her next-door neighbor. Rest in the sweetest peace to 20-year-old Savannah Gold, abducted and murdered by her co-worker at Bonefish Grill. Just three of the examples of people who I didn't know exist, but now I do. That first one was in Morgantown, wasn't it? The first one was in the Jersey Shore. Oh. On the the Belmar Bridge, which I've crossed. Yeah. Which I've crossed in a car. Sure. It's the only bridge in town. That one fucked me up the most. First off, you guys. Well, you're, I asked you what you got for Christmas, and then you spouted off three teen murders. <laughs> Which r- drastically changed the tone of um, everything. Yeah. Uh, they are good watches. You watch JCS? JCS, it's it's not the best YouTube channel. It's the, be- it's the best cinema. I got a 3D printer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. And what can you do with that? Uh, the name is exactly what it does. It's like Connect 4. So what did you, have you used it? No. Don't know how. It's always people like just getting like a. They make stuff that you could have bought for like yeah, a quarter. Yeah, you could have bought for. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the act of making for it in the quarter, thing. And yeah, it's yeah, it's neat that that works. You guys are about to get trinkets out the wazoo, which I think is the first time that sentence has ever been said. Trinkets, trinkets out, out the wazoo. wazoo. Search that on Twitter. I'm going to look it up. You're going to get that weird rubber chicken. That's weird that they chose that as the graphic. Oh, an anus chest set. No, I'm sorry to interrupt your uh, murders. I don't know. What was I getting at? I don't know, dude. That's why I barfed out 3D printer. It's, it's just so it's it's very common. People. No, people it's who, not. That's people, why it shocks people to their core. No, you just don't know. It's happening every day. 
which is insane in to the think United about. States. And it's insane that not just the people who commit it, the people who uh, aid in the murders, the people who don't care when their friends murder, the people who have such a lax opinion and feeling toward murder. And I, I guess I, I never really sit with people and we never really actively discuss the, how uh, abhorrent we think murder is. But in these cases, I think you're going you're gonna to have to start doing that. Because I think people around us don't think it's that bad. Not that they would ever do it, but they think it like, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know at all what you're getting at. Because these people who were murdered, they were murdered by their friends. And uh, their friends' friends helped them murder these people. And they did it casually. And they've told people. And their friends were like, oh, shit, I'll keep that a secret. Every single one? In, in would, a lot I, of these cases. And these, guys, are like normal, these are people from like the Jersey Shore. Like the, two, like the two dudes who did it seem like a bunch of people I've met before. You, you feel like you've... Do you think you've I met think, a murderer? I think there's a lot of people who aren't really completely anti-murder. What everybody's anti murder? No, no, this is what I've pro- I just I just binge watched JCS Explore with us. <laughs> These people Every, aren't. Everybody is anti murder. It's, it's lit. No, go around the room. I, I mean, now you're gonna you're gonna say no, but yeah, no. Bring it up when you're drunk with some randoms, <laughs> just to see. Because I feel like some people aren't. I think that's yeah. You're gonna scare away every hoe. With this, the hoes love this shit. <laughs> he actually the hoes, yeah. we'll, we'll go bar for bar with the cases. No, but I'm saying... <laughs> Do I have recommendations? Uh, the whole JCS channel. There's only like 14 or so videos. But if, if say you're not into the morbidity and like the, the, the gore, uh, Dahlia DiPolito. It's funny. No one dies. She just hires it. I won't even say it. No murder. My funny, mom, satisfying. My mom was in the wedding. One of her best friends in college married a murderer. Yeah. And he, and, and, he hired her best friend in college married a murderer. She, her best friend didn't care. Uh, she married him. She wasn't a murderer okay. at the time. And she cared very, very much. Yeah. I believe he tried to, to, do, to, to do it to her. But he also hired these teens to kill a competitor and business wise with a bow and arrow. With a what? bow and arrow? Mm hmm. Gotta have both. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people like it's like, you know, when you were young, you were like, there's not there, there's like gay people, gay people are one in a million. And then as you get older, the percentages increases. And now it's like 20 percent of people. Gay is not 20 percent of people. The more you binge, what? what? Gay is not 20 percent of people, is it? No, it's not higher. Yeah, Bo Burnham rapped about it being 10 percent in like 2007. It's got to be like 20 percent now. That means one of us in this room. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, three point five percent of adults in the U.S. identify as LGB. Three point one, and those are people that yeah, are, that's a, that's those accounting are, for the, the, the roar. Yeah, those the are whole, the teens yeah. that claim bi when they're bored. Right, right. It's hard to estimate. Also, mm -hmm. to go back to your original point, uh, Spherical Stag uh, on August 24th, 2018 says, Hollow Knight also scratches my biggest gaming itch: gameplay modifying trinkets out the wazoo. Someone so, said it. Yeah, trinkets and wazoo are very similar I, words. That's me. That was I love you? Hollow Knight. Yeah, that's my that's my other account. Okay, no, it's not actually, <laughs> but I did love Hollow Knight. Well, if you want to know the bio, it's an interesting character. Round deer that draws other round animals for fun and profit. Oh, he's a vor guy. Eighteen uh, plus for kink yeah. art. Yeah, draws a, he draws vor inflated uh, furries. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you knew a lot about it. I believe. Uh, um, you uh, talk to me about your Christmas. Um, it was to tell me one gift, one gift, gift. of one liners, um, curse of curves. You actually revealed one to me. I did. Yes. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. I got a DM from your sister saying, remind Kyle about the scavenger hunt. And I think, <laughs> I think you thought it was a work thing when I texted you. I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, is you this played so along? I thought no, I was like, oh, I thought along. I was about to ask when. I was like, I thought we like signed up for it one time, and I thought it was going to be so. Like, when I was off it, off it, but <laughs> um, I said scavenger hunt reminder. So, I was yes. told it'll be fun. Yes, because that's exactly what your sister told me to tell you, and you said, oh shit, yeah, when is that? And I was like, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I was like 15 minutes into the Amazon killer video <laughs> when my sister barged into. Uh, generously give me that gift. She got it you was, a gift it was on paper. Scaven yeah, and I, I will do the scavenger hunt, and I will. What enjoy is the it. gift? I will enjoy it. It's a, it's a, it's a local scavenger hunt in New York. Yes, we'll do it. 
I want to do it with you. There we go. There we go. What is it? I don't know. I have to read the fine print. I have to read the anything. Um, <laughs> but that's that gift will not go to waste. I will do it. Um, what? Yeah. What else? Uh, true crime and, spl- and spliffs. spliffs. You, you got yeah. spliffs for Christmas? No, that's what I, that's what my Christmas break consisted of. Okay. And yeah. I I'm getting my tolerance. You sound is, better, dude. Sound better? Yeah. You got zip. My tolerance is still what I would say bad, but it. When I'm lying down, it, it's incredible. I could horizontally, I could smoke with anyone. <laughs> um, it's when I get up and stand up and do anything. That's when it's, it's all downhill. But um, <laughs> get, get spliff recommendations, true crime recommendations. Uh, someone sent me a similar one to JCS, Mr. Ballin. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was what I'm looking for. So keep that up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to discuss the cases, listen, don't discuss the, the, the main bullet points from any of these videos with me. I already know them. Give me, give me um, theories that hold that have value. Uh, if you're going to talk about that, thank you. Pretty good. Uh, my Christmas was good, yes. thank you. Yes. Except for the brass knuckles did not go over well. All right. So, um, just set the scene. How did that go? Put them in a bag with uh, a WVU T-shirt. Mm-hmm. Pulled out the WVU T-shirt. No reaction. I'm like, all right, here it comes. Pulls them out, looks, and I was like, they're brass knuckles. And then I got hit with, yeah, I thought so. Oh. Uh, Try them on. Yeah. He's like, I will when I get home. And then my fucking sister had the audacity to follow my gift with hers to him. And she got him the Extendo Bear Claw back scratcher. Yeah. <laughs> Crushed. He was scratching every inch of his spine for the rest of Christmas morning. He could, he wouldn't scratch himself wrong. He wouldn't even try on brass knuckles. Easiest thing to try on. You don't need to take (laughs) anything off to try it Uh on. That's a a riddle. A hat, a hat's got to be one of top one. Yeah. Do you ever want to? Do you want to drink? Rank draft things. Draft easiest things to to try on. Sure, you get first pick. Hat. What if you're already wearing a hat? I don't even think you have to adjust the snaps. Brass knuckles is easier. I already drafted hat. Fuck. <laughs> Rudy, what do you got? Uh, I will go glasses. How is this dropping? I'm going to take brass knuckles. I just didn't think. I don't know. What did you that, take that, second? That was your I didn't thing. go for a so second. Okay, yeah. You, you were brass and then it snakes back. All right. Um, snakes back to me. Scarf. You can't do a derivative of a scarf. You can't do a boa. Okay. So, oh, well, my lineup's <laughs> nice. All right. Scarf and hat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're not doing this. Rudy, you're up. Underwear. What the fuck? Boo. Yeah, yeah. Boo. I don't what else is there? Boo. There's not that many clothing items. Ring? Snowshoes. Ring? Snowshoes. Yeah, dude, because you put them over top of your other shoes. Okay. Those big ones that look like tennis rackets. Um, oh yeah. So true crime and spliffs. What and you were sick and passed out at the grocery In the store. Jello aisle. What else? Yeah. What else? Uh went to the doctor. Uh he also recommended an MRI for me, but that's just because I was so fucking dizzy. For about two days. And then I got an antibiotic and it wasn't strong enough because I got strep throat yesterday and I have a stronger antibiotic now. Did you get the popsicle stick? Yeah. Did you gag? <laughs> no, God, no. Fuck no. That was Come the on, worst no. part. That was the worst part. What was? So the, the, the popsicle stick. The worst part of they what? They can't still use that. The tongue depressor? The tongue depressor, which is worse than a popsicle stick. That was the worst part of the doctor. No, I'll, I'll, I'll draft worst parts of the doctor. Uh, routine <laughs> checkups, not like fucking surgery. Waiting room. The the tongue depressor. Uh, I would say you can't just throw drafts around. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're throwing hella drafts around. I can't even look at a, a draft board. I would say entering in your information. Yeah. Okay. Getting naked. Oh. Mm. That, that was bad. How, yeah. how late did you guys go to a pediatrician? <sighs> Till I made them do an STD test. You made eight. your pediatrician <laughs> do an STD test? And they looked at me like I had 100 heads. They were like, we don't really do that, but we're qualified. So we'll do it. And then they convinced me I had herpes when I didn't. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. I was 18. That, that was my worst experience. Did it happen to you my too? Doctor, I, I talk about this a lot. Um, I was misdiagnosed with herpes, prescribed the, you know, the Valtrex. And it was impetigo, which caused uh, like some type of reaction. My mouth was scabbed shut. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I was a, I was prescribed Valtrex. Uh, it wasn't herpes as well. It was uh, a callus on the tip of my penis. 
I don't even know. I think I got That's folliculitis. Real? That story I've told. Yeah, because I didn't a wear underwear. On the I didn't dick. wear underwear. Okay. Just rubbed, rubbed, rubbed. So you calloused your dick? Uh, yeah, I have no feeling in you it. You had like deadlifting hands? Like I've told this story too much and I'm going to get lampooned yeah. for it. <laughs> I always assumed it was a joke. No. <laughs> you actually had a callus on the tip of your penis? Yeah. Where the urethra is? Yeah. Covering it? Rendering Not you covering incapable? It. No, okay. no, no. It was like uh, where the where the circumcision scar is. Like that little kind of McDonald's. Oh, that's shape. a thing? A circumcision scar? Do I? Yeah. I don't. I, There's no way your guy did you unscathed. That's still visible. Yes. Where do you think that little little the little you're you're, you're shaking your head? Yes. Yeah. You 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 have one. Every, if you're circumcised, you have one. You have a visible scar. Go look at your dick. Go look at the underside of your dick. It's like where it All like. Right. Where what are you doing? You I'm saying go. Photo you don't gallery. <laughs> but there's no way you have the circumcision scar in the photo. Yeah. No, I don't have one. Because it's probably it's because there's no way you're taking it from that angle. <laughs> I don't think I have one. <laughs> Everyone does. Everyone. If you're, if you're circumcised, you're yeah, you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like there's that little indent at the bottom. Flip it over. Google circumcision scar and then you're like, really, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. looking at the undercarriage. I don't. If you're looking at your undercarriage of the head. Yep, I'm there. How? Yes, you have to have one. Keep keep walking me through it. I just need a roadmap. Google it. <laughs> I mean, do you guys want to see Dick right now? Or Flip not? it around, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. Couldn't catch it. I don't it. know. I'll have to check. Better. That doesn't look like mine, Mook. That's a hack job. Mook, what, is that what your dick looks like, dude? <laughs> what you doing, bro? <laughs> Ew! Chew off, dude. Yeah, oh, <laughs> dude. Oh, oh, violated. Yeah. <laughs> that was not the right photo no, of it dude. at all. I Did he use a saw? Doing? My God, I dude. The first image. That is, <laughs> you just showed us a picture of your dick. Yeah, that's my comment. That, dude, the internet's down. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm out of this Google search right now. Did I ever? I we talk so much on so many different shows. I never know what I talk about on here. Did I ever talk about the sketch I want to do of the guy that was in the massage chair, um, like enjoying a massage, but he it was in the the South Tower, and then he looks down and like sees that the chair is unplugged. I think you said that to me off air. Same. Uh, it sounds familiar. I think somebody else actually said that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. Um, Probably. That's no. how it works. There's no original thoughts anymore. Um, my dad uh, is my dickhead of the week. Yeah. Again? Yep. He has having this affliction where all of a sudden <laughs> it pisses me off so much. His eyebrow, <laughs> his eyelashes <laughs> don't, oh, no. don't curl anymore and they grow straight down in front of his eyes. <laughs> Wait, what? And so he keeps a little thing of gel with him to like push them up. No, he's gelling his eyebrows? Eyelashes. Uh, they grow oh, straight yeah. down. They grow straight down over his eyes. And he just keeps gelling them up, but he still is like demanding that he drives. And so he was like swerving and I was like sleeping because we were driving up to the uh, train station to take me back at like five in the morning driving up to Pittsburgh. Yeah. And I look over and he's like, what? And he's gelling his fucking eyelashes up <laughs> as he's driving because they were covering up his eyeballs. And he just, he's at a cosmetologist oh, no, right now. A cosmetologist? To get a perm for his eyelashes. <laughs> he couldn't even go to an ENT? That this is him right now yeah, getting his eyelashes curled. Cur cur I'm actually gonna flame they're, him now. They're growing straight down, and yeah, that's he was the, that's he, the, was, the, he was using Old Spice, uh, not gel, but like uh, sculpting clay. <laughs> and it was like his eyes were all cruddy and shit. And uh, it, he's the dickhead of the week because he was he's just a, like uh, an eyelash affliction. My mom that's wanted to watch be, Glass lame, Onion, raking the uh, lamest <laughs> body parts, parts of the body to get an affliction. In the eyelash. Yeah, that's that's. I, I win no matter what you pick. Yeah, that is that is your, that's the perfect one one. That's Andrew Luck. Um, God damn. Yeah, he's the dickhead of the week because then like Did he complain about it. He was forcing it on all of us because my mom wanted to watch Glass Onion so bad. He's like, oh well, I guess I'll listen to it. Because <laughs> his, <laughs> he his was eyelashes. Sassy it's, about it, no. <laughs> he was just being like so sassy about it. Uh, it was it, yeah, but it was hilarious because they were like. 
they were they were straight as an arrow, like covering his. They looked like curtains over his eyebrow eyeballs. It was so fucking funny. That that's that's well deserved. Yeah, I could I could send that to you. Guys. Another, uh, another thing I got for Christmas, I got this like therapy uh, what a cryotherapy package. I went to a spa. Did the cryo? Did, you did the cryo? sauna? And then the the main thing was this floating tub. Oh, you, like you, uh, yeah. And they were like, "It's so relaxing. I'll probably fall asleep." It's it has like salt or something in it to make you float. Um, asshole couldn't handle it. You, what? what? My, my rectal itch could my rectal itch rash hemorrhoids. Uh, it couldn't. It it burned to the. To smithereens uh, from whatever <laughs> substance was in that water to make it's salt float. to make you boil. So it, it was um, right. I would have loved it because it would. It was so comfortable. The asshole was. I could not. Could <laughs> not burn your ass. I handle it, and it was an hour long. Um, so I had to just sit in the little fucking <laughs> mini chair outside of the tub for an hour and did crosswords. <laughs> just um, like pissed off. And I, yeah. Those are probably pretty expensive too. Um, you had yeah, to sit in a mini was. chair. Yeah, like a tiny chair, which is worse than just sitting was on a, a fucking was it a Indian stool. Side. Yeah, it was a stool. Yeah, like a little one. But like, how how bad did it burn your asshole? Like, did you yelp? Um, and probably not audibly, but it was it was uh irredeemable. Yeah, I couldn't couldn't get past that. How long did you were you able to enjoy it? Well, when you when you think about getting into a tub, it's gonna you can't avoid the asshole. Yeah, so no, I didn't get to enjoy. It. <laughs> oh it fuck, it. man! It had like good, cool, like music. You get to control the music, the colors. Um. Yeah, that was it. God damn, sorry, dude. You, you, why don't you fix your asshole afflictions? That's like, yeah, it, I should. I don't even want to just say why. It feels kind of good. It feels kind of good. To start. Uh, you've, you've said it's, yeah, you've yeah, said yeah, the, yeah. the itches. That's why I don't get my ingrown toenails uh, fixed. Like I could get my, like my toenail removed completely because mm -hmm. I get an ingrown toenail like every other month. I just take it out and the relief is way worth the mm -hmm. pain. Grass is always greener. No, well, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, Probably comes, not. Yeah, not no, having no, an not, itchy not, asshole yeah, 24 seven. Yeah, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> not that much. Uh, Why don't you put like a sal? Uh, what's the um, preparation H? Preparation H. Uh, I have it. I have it. <laughs> Use it every day. <laughs> Use preparation I, I H every I think day. It's, it's the way I was wiping. Uh, I think you it's shit too not much. Not the hemorrhoid. Too. It's more like the the rectal itch. Uh, Howard Stern had it once. I remember as a kid. <laughs> Like it's funny how things come full circle. I was giggling in my dad's car. He had the the Sirius XM thing that you had to install. The we were listening to Howard Stern talk sportster. about his rectal itch from overwiping, <laughs> and I was giggling. Ten years old, on my way to Sarah's Candy, yeah, to get some candy, yeah, and some ice cream. Then a the great uh, root beer floats. And then who who would have thought? Twenty years later. Uh, I but I think it's like. It should not be some. It's not like herpes Wait. where you get it and have it forever. Yeah. No, it's no. <laughs> it's not like there is a very there's there's a million cures for rectal itch. Yeah. You don't do a single one. I think the only cure is scratching it. <laughs> we'll get a bidet. <laughs> We're not talking about this. Or get a uh, sensor. This get a dude wipe. Get a, a dude. Get a dude wipe. I don't want to say their name. I don't want to say their name. I thought they'd be back by now. <laughs> it's been two years. <laughs> um, um, dick, my dickhead of the week. Honorable mention, uh, Brian Koberger. Yeah. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I think that's fair. Yeah, he's a fair, dickhead. Yes. Yeah, we'll see how the case plays out, but it looks like it's conclusive. Um, Four-way tie <laughs> for the other honorable mention. Okay. It's a Pokemon, which notice how I said it's a Pokemon. This is how I know who it is. is. I know who it is. Yeah. It's the mice. It's the it's Mousehold. Yeah. <laughs> Mousehold. Mousehold is a family of four. The Pokemon Mousehold. This is why it would be Dickhead of the Week, but I can't. It's not. It, I don't do Dickheads of the Week. No, we don't have the time for that. Mousehold is a Pokemon. It's a family of four mice. So the, the first evolution is it's two of them. It's a family of four mice. The two adults, and then they have two kids. And they, and they become Mousehold. Like, that's a Pokemon? Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> that's a Pokemon. M-A-U-S-H-O-L-D. What does it evolve from again? What, uh, what's the... You're asking the wrong it's, guy. It's another, it's, it's another family. No, no, it's just the husband and wife. That's not a Pokemon. That's a family. 
<laughs> I like it. Look at that. You like it? Yeah. It's a, you it's like more, them? I, I used it Tandem in the mouse. games. Ta huh? Tandem mouse. Tandem mouse. Okay. That's not going to wait. I'm not going to waste my time. The real dickhead of the week. You probably know who it is. Give me a tiny hint. Um, <laughs> I love a mouse hold beat out a murderer. No, they were tied for honorable. They were both honorable mention, special mention, however, whatever you use. Um, oh, my God. I'm looking at it. Um, oh, man. It looks like uh, a swaggy, malignant tumor rocking like a UNC snapback. <laughs> What a swaggy! I didn't. It's not so. Um, half a malignant tumor, rocking like UCLA gear. It's Pelipper. Pelipper. It's Pelipper. It's a just Pelipper. a straight up. Pel it's a it's a it's a it's a pelican. Listen to this. <laughs> Pelipper is a water bird Pokemon that resembles a pelican. Again, no, it's just a pelican. It's a pel, albeit a deformed and disgusting one. Look at that. Look at that. They deliver the mail. We'll get into that. <laughs> First off, stop doing, stop saying that's just a pelican. Stop saying it resembles a pelican. If, okay, you okay. have the complete creative freedom. You're in this fictional universe. They've made over a thousand. You can design. A brand new species. You do it. And I you want you. You can. You could. Yeah. You could put a. Um, uh, Make a better one. Make a better one than that. You could put Stonehenge with a face that exists. <laughs> Easter Island exists. Like a mechanical pencil with a with a big big uh, parachute. I don't know, but you can create any. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't exist. You can create any <laughs> species. There's an infinite amount of. Shapes and designs and features <laughs> to create in your mechanical pencil I don't know. With a big parachute. And you still choose a a pelican, which is boring. And I'm sure it, it resembles a pelican. All no, Pokemon it doesn't. It is based, a pelican. All Pokemon are based on real life. Saying animals. a pelipper is like a pelican is like putting uh, a mechanical pencil in the nose hole of a Mr. <laughs> Potato Head and saying this is uh, a thing I invented that is like Mr. Potato Head. No, you just added something to an already existing Mr. Potato Head. That's Pelipper. Why are you on mechanical pencil? Uh, <laughs> what What else? Um, uh, gross. It's like in, that, in, in, in some depictions, it's Bill. It's all Bill. It's 80% Bill. It's a Pelican. It's a Pelican with a fleming, phlegm colored Bill with the Bill's like 20% the size of a 20 times the size of a normal bill. Um, it goes all the way to its asshole. Yeah. When Pelipper are tired, you see that they did that. The, the plural Pelipper is Pelipper. Don't, that's cocky. And every single Pokemon is that. that Pokemon. That's one of Pokemon. the dorkiest moves Pikachu, in linguistics. Pikachu. Just add every the S. One. Don't make it confusing. Pluralize it with every, the S. That's not how it works. Or change it up. Add it like an I to the end. Pelipper is... Is the plural too? Um, what do they do? I don't. You wouldn't say. Look at the group of Pikachu inside Pel. Okay, here's here's its Maybe. big thing. Here's its big thing. Its skill. Its magic. Inside Pelipper's bill is a throat pouch that they use to carry eggs in small Pokemon such as Payuku Kumuko. Yeah, Payuku Kumuko. That's how you should name a Pokemon. Payuku Kumuko, <laughs> not Pelipper. A, a stupid or mousehold. Stupid pun. American pun. The, it should be a jet. Payuku Kumuko. The little spiky ball. Um, Pelipper's bill is large enough to fit a small child in. Pelipper's a pedophile. Hey, Pelipper, get that five-year-old boy out of your mouth. <laughs> we ran, we ran the DNA. Uh, it's your uh, the DNA of your in, of your tongue is on every square inch of this little boy. <laughs> Why is that, Pelipper? Why are you carrying kids in your mouth? Um, pedophile. What else? Old. Pelipper's older than you think. Twenty-five. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, what do you mean? There is just not one age for them. Well, that one. That one's it's 20, older than you think, yeah. You mean it came out 25 years what ago? What else? What, wait, where did you get 20? I don't know. Look at the stupid bill. Yeah? It's a pelican. I'm trying to think of something. William Taft's tub got <laughs> stuck in Pelipper's bill. <laughs> the, the, the new revamped one that could fit in. <laughs> um, Pelipper Pelipper peaked in middle school <laughs> Locker rooms Yesterday Pelipper is 3 foot 11 But puts 4 foot In his Megan's Law bio 
Pelipper <laughs> says, Pelipper says, pop, 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 present when the sub takes roll call. Um, that's my dickhead of the week. <laughs> pop, 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 present. Yeah. Dude, Pelipper is good. Delivers the mail. It delivers the mail. It's really cool. Think of that. It's like whimsy. Think of like having a big water pelican. Some of the most skill skillless people I know delivered the mail. Oh, you're going to catch a lot of flack yeah. from the feds. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What it was? It's what's his skill delivering the mail? Yeah, and it's okay. good for it's water flying. It's good. Wingles are plentiful. Jesus, I, I'm I'm ta- I, I'm I'm living in the the, the true crime. It, it is so immersive and it, you're locked in, and that's good. But it it, it kind of ruins your life. Yeah, dude, I I avoid um, it. When I try to entertain I, myself, I try really to really psychologically damage me. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm locking my door. Do you carry a blade? I've never done that. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't. I always do. But I'm like, I, when the when the door dasher comes, I'm like. This, I'm just going to open the door for this guy? No. Out of the question. Um, yeah, so it's it's not, I don't, my overall mood is blower. Are you like getting up I'm, in the middle of the night to check and see if your door is locked? I, I'm on that shit. I'm on that wave. It gets been 15. I thought I beat that. No. Um, so if you're if you're someone who is very bored and you're, you have a, sh- a shitty job and you, I would recommend it for you. Um, <clears throat> and this, the scenes are, that's, some of the stories are so crazy. Hold on. We, All the people who are kidnapping people. People are kidnapped right now. People are captive somewhere right now. We really That's cra- you know what's you know what's that's crazy. And people people are always like uh uh the elevator fight in Captain America is crazy. <laughs> no. These people who are holding captives in their storage unit, there can be two different That's crazy, crazy things. Nothing in fiction is crazy because you can come up with anything and say it happened. That's not crazy. Crazy is what actually happens. You're broken. We have a really, really big sponsor that has paid us a lot. So we have to get to them before the end of the show. Uh, the Barstool Store. Always comfortable. Always <laughs> epic designs. Always, well, we are on the edge of being canceled. We snag them? We snag the Barstool <laughs> Store, dude. Yeah. Always guaranteed always to good impress. To Barstool store has everything for everyone. No. Hoodies, crewnecks, t-shirts, polos, hats, beanies, joggers, you name it. Shop the best st- sellers and new arrivals like the Roback Times, b- <laughs> times the Roback X Barstool Sports, the Whitewater Performance Hoodie. I've worn that. Comfy. Perform well. The Barstool Sports Ribbed Champion Crew Neck. The Barstool Nike Men's Sportswear Club Fleece Pullover Hoodie. Uh, you guys can get... All of that and way more. Shop now at store.barstoolsports.com. Kyle, what's your favorite Barstool Sports store item? Um, we have. No. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, come on now. Go, go help us out. Go buy a shirt. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Go to the Barstool Sport, Sports store.com. Uh, try to throw in a promo code, see whatever works. We actually got our social report cards. Did you guys see that? It's that time of year again. Mm-hmm. We got our social report cards for anus. It was I was yeah, so it wasn't as bad as last year, but I was looking at all of our grades and it just was like an agreeable Mexican. C C C C. Um <laughs> That was bad. Oh man. Oh man. I need to shit. Yeah, I need to ruin my life with drugs or something. I need to, I need to spark. I got nothing. Um, I'm looking for it. I can't find it. Do you have it, Mook? Yeah, I'll pull it up. Wait, wait, wait. I think. Yep, got it. Um, our merch grade was a B. Okay. Uh, does a good job of creating designs that play to their content and their audience. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, okay. Our pros, very creative with social clips. Thank you, Mook. Thank you, Mook. Uh, att- our cons, be more attentive to ad reads. You're costing the company money. More social <laughs> output. Uh, where was the... There was one thing that made me laugh. Facebook straight Fs. Uh, 
Anus TikTok not available. The account has been in jail for most of the quarter. Is that true? It's made up. It's made up. Fake news. Are we shadow banned? Oh, yeah. uh, they thought it was banned, but we just didn't post. <laughs> we, ba- we banned ourselves. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. A lot of these I love our direct, our direct stolen idea. The temple run videos are incredibly creative. All right. <laughs> What does that mean? Our temple run videos do well. Like the video of our clips with the. Yeah, uh, but like maybe we could just. They said that's creative. Yeah. <laughs> let's just. uh, <sighs> Let's post on TikTok just a video of temple run. Let's have us tiny. Okay. Yeah, let's get progressively smaller until it's just that. Until it's just, just temple, temple run. run. I'm getting bullied on the TikTok because everyone's like, I need more stimulation or like not enough. No, it's actually really hurtful. I saw somebody comment like. Muted so I could watch. <laughs> muted so I could watch Temple Run. So fully. I could watch Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah. 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 Um, or get rid of these two guys. Let me see the full game. Instagram a C. Uh, where was there was something they put in quotes that was funny? Yeah. Oh, production quote unquote quality is very authentic to the brand's <laughs> ethos. <laughs> <laughs> ethos. They put quality in quotes. Like we intentionally uh, put out really bad quality. Oh, All right, I'll take it. Yeah, but not bad though. Um, Look, are you are you officially like a a TikToker now? Uh, oh yeah, dude. Cody Co brought you up. Yeah. Oh, did he? Cody yeah. Cody Co yeah. shouted him out. Said he was like the funniest thing ever. Cody Co. Oh, did. He, he did uh, an impression and said he also says what's up beats to Uber drivers. It was pretty cool. But if I'm you, I'm prioritizing that. Yeah. Uh, uh probably ninety percent, and then not. I'm probably not gonna put any effort into what you're doing for us. Yeah. No, if I, I'm you, I feel very hacky doing the same bit over and over again. We do it every single day. So you're day. you're in a position where people are they're only expecting that that joke from you. Yeah, I'm like in So jail. if you try to switch it up, I don't know what would happen. I'd imagine what's like what's it like with you now getting into Ubers with friends? Are they expecting it? They say it for me. Oh, they yeah. say so it for now me. you're that guy. I, so it's it's like yeah. in like grade school when somebody a character in a book had the same name as you and everybody like looks. Yeah. It's like getting <laughs> no. into oh, getting yeah. into an Uber uh-huh. with Mook. Everybody's just looking and waiting. And then people are like calling me beast. So oh, I can no Huckleberry call over them. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot we went to school with Huckleberry. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um Enrique's on his way in because tomorrow, actually, if you're listening to this on release day today, me, Rudy, Mook, Hank, Kyle, and Enrique speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Perfect timing. Hello, Uh, Enrique. Are playing World of Warcraft. We're doing the streams. We got it. We're We're downloaded. Wow, classic. We're playing for the horde. And now is the time we are creating. Let me get this out of the way before it ruins the whole thing. Two, you can't start with two. Two boys, two boys, <laughs> students at a at a school, a high school in Vancouver area, um, murdered their 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 good friend, a, a girl. They murdered her, and they tried to get by. Like they didn't want to leave evidence, so they didn't text each other about it. They used World of Warcraft to message each other. Oh. Almost got away with it. It's a good setup. You're dude. You need that's to cra- stop. That's crazy. You need to stop. I wonder how many people have like planned Uh, murders. Neo fighting Agent Smith isn't crazy. That's crazy. That was crazy. How'd they get caught? How'd they get caught? Their World of Warcraft messages. They were talking all about it. That's how they communicated. They thought they were getting past it. But we'll be playing World of Warcraft. was all over. Certainly not my first time. Enrique, not your first time. No. Hank's first. Kyle's first. Maybe playing a game. And Rudy's first time. No, intro- no introduction to the game, but we are going to make our characters. Justin Congrego, are you going to be an yeah. orc? Uh, Look through the Horde characters and tell okay. me what you are. Are so, you familiar with the universe? Yes. To what degree? I, decently. Okay. Have you made friends from the, the site? There was an, what I assume was an older lonely man who one summer um, I assisted, or he assisted me on, his, on my quest. And that was the extent of your relationship? Yeah. You never communicated outside no. of playing with him in that moment? No. I played with a kid named you Cy never- Wolfie. And I remember uh, I, was ta- I met him on the night of my junior prom in Azeroth. And the prom wasn't in Azeroth. The prom was in <laughs> Wheeling. <laughs> I, but I met Cy Wolfie. Uh, I was feeling re- extra lonely. And uh, that we... PSY Wolfie W L F I E, 
He was mm-hmm. part wolf in real life. Cy Wolf is better than like mine was like Tim something. Tim something? Yeah. I was Squeener. Ugh. Gnome Rogue. Cy Wolf, he was a blood elf hunt, uh, uh, night so elf. So, what, what, what is the adge- objective of what we're doing? We are put into this fantasy world. We are those characters. It's a role playing server. So, we're going to have to talk to each other like we're those characters. It's okay. a constant battle of the Alliance versus the Horde. We are the Horde, okay. and we'll be going on quests as low levels because we're not going to be f- we're not good enough. We'll be doing quests of like hunting boar and gathering this, and then returning the quest and doing it again. But yeah. the monsters will get progressively harder, and everybody has a role on the team. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. You're going to be. In, what, do you want to be an orc? Um, you always talk about orcs in the incorrect way, and I think it's time for you to learn what an orc is. How racist? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> racist? Kyle. I talk about orcs racistly. Yeah. I'm just asking. Not always. Kyle confuses orcs <laughs> with like forest nymphs. Oh, he, that, he thinks it's Lord of the Rings. Or he something? thinks no. I He's, think it's a, I think it's like a blanket state or an umbrella he, term for you know anything. Generalization. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to be a troll priest. I'm going to try to name him like Crud, but I, if Crud is taken, which it will be, I'm going to add just more D's. Father Crud. Oh, okay. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be Father Crud. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Rude Boy. Uh, I'm going. I don't know anything about this, but Nick's recommendation was that I would be. Was it an undead? Undead rogue. Undead rogue. Um, which is a female. A female. Well, I, I, the picture is a girl. Is well, you a, could choose your your oh. your gender. I don't think any of us should be women just because. I don't think that's how war parties. Should, I think they should be. Mm-hmm. Also, I have to role play, so it'd be hard for me to yeah. do. So voice. we have the healing. We have the DPS. What are you going to be? Um, I'm going to be a blood elf mage. Mage. So it's um, one more DPS, yep. but ranged. And I will be a woman. So Okay. That's perfectly yeah. fine. Mook. I would like to be Mork the Orc. Mork the Orc. Okay. The recently divorced as well. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, asthma. Yeah. See, I like that you have some, I have some backstory already that's good. too. Yep. And so you what, gotta what, have what class are you going to be? I do not know which class. Available classes. Warrior, hunter, mage, rogue, priest, death knight, monk. I'll be the monk. Don't be a monk. Don't be a monk. Be a warrior or a uh, or a Paladin? hunter. What's the difference? What hunter is a bow and arrow guy, and he gets a pet, so you could tame any wild oh, animal out there. I need a pet for companionship. So okay. Kyle, you're going to be a warrior. There we go, and we'll have Hank be... A little too close to home. <laughs> we'll have Hank be like a druid. You're definitely fighting some battles. What do I yeah. do? What does the I'm undead? Ready, ready, yeah. What does the undead rogue do? Your damage per second, but you're close up. So you wear yeah. leather armor. You're going to put poison on your blades, Hell daggers. Yeah. You, you already wear leather. You can, yeah, you do already wear leather. Yeah, and uh, you go invisible and behind people and stab. Kyle, you just have a big hammer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And this is uh, we're playing this very seriously, but we're not going to do any sort of research into the game. We're just going in and playing, starting tomorrow. Yeah, I'm very excited. I am too. Let's go. And you'll be able to catch it on uh, me and Enrique's streams. Yes, and then the highlights, I will condense probably down to like 20 or 30 minutes. We're going to try to play three hours tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you what's, your, what's your uh, shout out? Kyle, your... do you have a computer? Um, I was going to say, you no. Know, okay, just, that's it, Now I'm finally, I just know because I don't even know where the broken one is. He's going to be playing from the office. <laughs> Are you? I mean, yeah, right yeah, now, that, that I don't works. know what yeah, the other option works. is. Um, yeah, I, so... Maybe that that's a really big hang up. No computer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Phone. No. Okay. No, no I'll, I'll get one. I can uh, f- solely as an extra laptop. I'll be good. I'll okay. Be locked in. Yeah. You're not going to play, are you? I'm going to play tomorrow. What's your What's your channel's name? What do you have? It's Henry Queen. K W E E N. Yeah. E E E N. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you're a rude rude boy, rude boy underscore Junda for my channel. So. Yeah. And that's where they'll be streamed, but then the highlight will be up on Anus. Exactly. Exactly. Is there any like RP, like rules and customs we should know? We're just going to be in a private party chat. So we're just going to be doing our thing. But we're going to interact with other RP players, correct? Yeah. Just don't run around like an idiot. Act like, just behave yourself. Actually, we don't even have to go to a role playing server. Yeah, we don't. But. I think having a little backstory helps. Yeah, like we can RP ourselves. Like we can act as if we're doing RP, but we don't have to be. An My RP troll server. is going to have the exact same personality and voice as Nick Terrani. Bold. Yeah. Yeah. You can control the voice. 
with and your you said you said <laughs> with your throat, you, yes. you yeah, said, with your mouth. And yeah. You said earlier, don't run around like an idiot. <laughs> What or what? What's a finger? <laughs> or what? It's a video game. I'm then they're gonna, they're gonna you're gonna get reported I'm not for not. Wait you're gonna be patiently break, in a line. You're, or, you're or gonna be breaking them slowly. I'm going to. I'm gonna press whatever button makes me run the fastest. <laughs> and if it's erratically, that's. I mean, that's how you play video games. I'm gonna run around like an idiot. You're talking like an orc already. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you're gonna be an orc. I'm. I'm. Well, that's funny. Yeah. Orc boys. Yeah. You can have multiple orcs, but if you don't want to be an orc, you don't have to be an orc. Be a Tauren, big bull. Okay, just my yeah. You could be a, a goblin. Yeah, they're little. So uh, Enrique, you're going to be a I'm blood right. elf. They have a further starting area. It's going to be a know. while. But, but so are you, aren't you? Uh, trolls and oh, orcs troll. start in the same area, right? Um, I'll just start and get wherever. We'll I get. To we'll be. we'll meet each other. We'll I'll just, start an hour early. We'll start. We'll do a dead sprint to find each other. I think before we even start streaming, we find each other. They'll probably make it a little easier. Yeah. yeah. So you no none of the hassle or the boringness of character creation. This that we're already in the game. Okay. Yeah. No time for that. Uh, what should we name this? So I was trying to think of a funny name for a graphic. Crucial intake of pink. <laughs> that. <laughs> what? I was like seven <laughs> years old. I swear to God, and I was messing around on Microsoft Paint, and I just it was just a you know, it was bullshit. Just throwing colors around. <laughs> And I titled it that. And I don't know what, I didn't know what that meant at the time, but that'll forever be in my mind. Crucial intake of pink. Like pink, like the color? And it sounds like as a set, that sounds like a, a name of an art piece that an adult would come up with. You want us to name our World of Warcraft promotion, like or the promo. You want that to be. That, that name post. is special. I never knew how to like, what to do with that in my brain. Like it's very sentimental to me. So if we want to, we can decide. Or maybe uh, do you a, think that will be confusing that. for the person that sees it on social media? Okay. Yeah. Um, we don't have to do crucial. Into <laughs> yes. uh, I don't know. There's other options. <laughs> no, I think it's good. Yeah. Maybe we name our guild that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is that like a gang? Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. Yeah. We need shirts. Pink boys. Pink ladies. Pink ladies, yeah. Okay. All right. Grease was the first musical I was ever in, so. Grease was? That feels very full circle to me. I think Grease is my most watched movie. Now, are you talking about at like the school level or you were- uh, Community theater. Oh, okay. That's- Yeah. yeah. But I was in high school. I was- I've never been in a play or any theater. Good. (laughs) (laughs) I want to be. It's super fun. Yeah. I miss doing that. What were you? You did it? I was Zazu in Lion King. <gasps> That's a big role. That's a great part. I always... Uh, would, I wish I could have seen it. It's great. I, I used to always go for the second most lines. Zazu does not have the second most lines. In our production, he did. He, he outlined Timon and Pumbaa, Nala, Scar, Mufasa. Maybe Nala, they, for sure. Maybe they lied He has a whole me. song. Maybe they lied I, Wait. It, oh, he does. Yeah, in the musical... Yeah. He's like the narrator. He's pretty much the narrator. And then in The, the Tempest, I was Ariel. He was a fairy. Was Full a circle. Good, it was a Full good circle. Role. Wow, both of us. Yeah, it was a good role. <laughs> it was a good role. I, yeah, I'd always go for the second most lines because in my mind, they they bury the lead. You know what I mean? They, you, the lead is, unless you kill it. That's like. But if, if, you're, if you're the second lead, everyone's like, oh, wow, he really did good. I've always liked the second most popular character in shows. Because exactly. that's the joke. Big Vegeta guy. No, Vegeta was a straight Well, man. yeah, but like. The main character is the story. The second is like a distraction that's yeah. fine away from the main story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I almost dislike most main characters. I have enjoyed shows without liking a single character. What show? Uh, Euphoria. Granted, I was off the spliff and just enjoying the cinematography <laughs> and the music. Um, but the, the, And then I, I tried uh, White Lotus I didn't like a single character. I, everyone is awful on those shows. Okay. Well, I didn't yeah. enjoy watching. So, I mean, it was good, but I, it's hard to watch a show where you hate, you don't really like watching any character, but we'll see. That's, I think that's my, to for me to enjoy a show, I have to have a favorite character. That's how I feel about Anus, actually. You have a favorite character? No. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't like any of it, but I enjoy it. Uh, all right. Yeah. You're on it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> you rep our merch more than us. Yeah. I have bought mm-hmm. some, so. Don't do that. We'll get it for you. We'll get it for you. Um, anything else, boys? Uh, I'm excited to stream. I think we should come up with a name for like what we're doing. World of Anus Craft. See, yeah, that's the thing. We, <laughs> I oh, knew we should design Pokemon. Story. How many of us is there? Oh, Kyle, you brought up Stonehenge. You knew there was a Stonehenge Pokemon, right? No, I just thought of the. I, I just thought in my head of like the lamest thing you could uh, make a fictional character out of. Yeah, it's if not. It exists. What's it called? 
Stojourner. Look at that. Stojourner Truth. Look at that. Pretty cool. No, that's stupid. <laughs> no, it's not. What is that? It's Stonehenge. Like a robot? It's a rock Pokemon. What are you talking about? That's a robot. Stone. It's rock. Looks like mech. A mech from Mech Assault. <laughs> How do you know that? It's the first game I played on Xbox Live. Before I got Halo 2, I was playing <laughs> Mech Assault. Hated it. What was the first online game I ever played? I think it was SOCOM on the PS. That was that was the like the original one that I remember. Yeah, I don't know. I tried to I tried to join a uh, I tried out. There weren't guilds in in that game. What were they called in SOCOM? What were you a clan? I, didn't do that. I tried out. I tried out for a clan in an online <gasps> lobby. It was a clan called Rock One Hundred and One, which I thought was the sickest thing. I was in eighth grade. I wanted to be in it, and I did not get in the clan. Mm. Failed the tryouts. Brutal. Uh, I think I think Hank's going to come in. He wants to talk about his character. Okay. If yeah. that's okay. Yeah, by all means. Tell Adam him to come Lanza. in. And we need, to, we need to think of a name. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a name either. I'm on a random uh, name generator for World of Warcraft. So you are a rogue that's an undead. Yeah. The, one, one of the first ones that came up, which I quite fancy, is Rick. Rick is good, but that's going to be taken. <sighs> True. I think you should name your... Uh, what about like after a musical instrument? Okay. Tambourine. Tambourine? Yeah. Okay. Or a xylophone? No. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah i like tamar- marimba marimba okay trying. marimba's like a xylophone right castanets well, what's that castanets i don't like, like the I, little hands sim- little hand symbols how, how would i ever know what that is what the about culture i don't know casta that's Net. pretty good that's pretty good sitar like a last name second part yeah um my um, entire tiktok right now is like guys playing sitar what's that it's like the Indian guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's cool. cool. Rocks. It's great. And then my entire Instagram right now is like double tap to like make this image complete. And it's like the heart would fill the and it's so fucking annoying. I want to be harmonica. Yeah, that's good. I like that. And harm is in the name. Yeah, exactly. Harmonica, an undead rogue. That's pretty good. Okay, that's I'll fun. be harmonica. Uh, harmonica's feminine. It's got the name Monica. Whatever your name is, Harm, and then Annika is your last name. You can do a Harm space. Annika. Yeah. You can have a. You can have spaces in your name. Okay. Cool. I'll do that. Yeah. And we can maybe play with it. And maybe make it more masculine if we want to. Yeah. Harmonic. I love. My, I'm excited for my character. Yeah. Do you, then, wanna, uh, do you want to tell them? He texted me. I did tell you what it was. Yeah, I don't know. You maybe want to say it? Yeah. Say it. Yeah, say so it. my character's name is Yennefer Coolridge. So Yennefer, like from The Witcher. From The Witcher. Mm-hmm. And um, Coolridge. Obviously an ode to Jennifer Coolidge. Oh. Hank. What up, Hank? And Hank. when I do it, I'll use her voice. Yennefer is. Uh, I love her. Me, yeah. Hot. So Because I'm playing with Mage, so that That's tracks. perfect. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And like uh, the people just... The, the boys listening are gonna gonna like it. Yeah, they'll love when I talk like Jennifer Coolidge. You could do it well. We talk, Wait, save, save no, it. I'm gonna save it. Yeah. Listen, I'm not always great impressions, but that's when I'm like, okay, that one. That's your one. Yeah. I've, I've, gay I've people never. Can do it. I could rule, find one gay person who can't do a Jennifer Coolidge impression. I my can't. only impression you I can't. could ever do is um. Who's that? Just when I was a kid, I could do Godzilla exactly. I could do Godzilla's roar exactly, and I used to do it before I went off the low dive. And now mm. can't do it anymore. Mm. Puberty fucked it up, but I that's could do it. I could do Godzilla really well. Do it, do it. I can't do it. I have strep throat. All right. I'll let yep. Hank sit. Enrique, I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. Hank, flattering uh, photo that uh, KFC tweeted. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the uh, this is the crazy part of that. That was from my yearbook. And the yearbook was like, submit your photo professional photo your senior year photo and then they put a baby picture next to it which you also had to provide my mom gave me like 20 baby pictures and i just left them in my backpack so if you didn't provide a baby picture they just grabbed one like you know people just go around take pictures randomly and shit so they just select a random one and that was not my best one not your best one and you looked a lot like (sighs) the uh the side by side yeah out of of, of all the people in the world that you wouldn't want to resemble in any way what's number one hitler uh no because it's, i still think you're not getting the personality the, it's, I, what do you mean you guys are trying to put the person everyone's trying to put the person no i think he's just a, a weird looking being yeah so am i i don't think no, you're so not, you're not that was just a uncharacteristic picture right it was pre-beard too pre-beard yeah who was it who did you look like uh cody lanza no, that's, Cody that's Lanza works here. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice try. <You> <laughs> yeah. I believe it was Adam. Somebody Shut called up. you Sandy Hank. 
<laughs> oh, that's not funny. That's not, no, it's not. No, it's not. that's not funny. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't. I you know, it's a little rude from KFC, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I gasped when I saw. Wait, how did he even source that image? Where did that? Who, just... do you, who do you think? My guy, everyone's guy. I don't know who that guy is. Clubhouse? No, uh, <laughs> Wario. Oh, um, he's in the depths. Yeah, he's in the archives. yeah. He's oh, he's in the trenches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him though. He he is he is the hardest working person that does not work here. That's yeah. He's uh he goes back. He traces our ancestry. But that also so this had already played out. That that picture came out in the Milton days, and Feidelberg I think wrote an entire blog about how I looked like Adam Lance. Oh okay. So that that KFC is just rehashing old bits. Yeah, but a lot more eyes, I'd imagine. That, yeah. that that's like funny now, but when he was doing that while you still looked like him. Yeah, that which was, I don't that think you ever did. No, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> um, we're playing WoW tomorrow. Yes. You excited? I am excited. Uh, don't do any research. I was okay. I was just doing uh, the the most basic research. You just from click you to move earlier. where you want to go, and then you have your spells at the bottom or your attacks. Yeah, I think you. I'm excited to play. I think you uh, having a lot of experience will be helpful. Yeah. Uh, I like doing the Dungeons and Dragons. It's not something I ever thought I would like doing. So I think this will hopefully be similar. It, it will be. And what's your, what's your character going to be? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. We need I you. Didn't do I mean, any I research. We, I would like you to be a druid. Okay. What are the characteristics of a druid? They can transform into animals. I like that. I know you would. I like that. And I'd like you to be a Tauren. I think Taurans can, can Taurans be druids? I believe they can. Hold on. I'm looking it up. Some of your features, you are a tank. They can be druids. Yes. They can be druids. So yes. you're going to be a tank with Kyle. He's going to be a warrior. You're going to turn him probably to like a bear and charge the enemy. Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that. Mm -hmm. uh, are, we, are we naming our characters? Yes. Yes. That's what we're going to do right now. So. I think it's got to be something D. I like. I okay. Like, yeah. Uh, it's got to be something D. What are those called? What? Onomatopoeias. Yeah. Alliteration. Oh, alliteration. an alliteration. Okay. <laughs> yeah, close. Yeah, <laughs> nah, it'll be fun. It'll be a nice <laughs> an, 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 an onomatopoeia that starts with D. What is that like? Ding, ding, yeah, or dong, dong and then druid. ding dong is both an alliteration That's, and yeah. and an onomatopoeia. Mm -hmm. So I'd be ding dong or druid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will be. <laughs> dong there druid. it is. He's, he's ding dong the druid. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking tight, dude. And this will be this will be a nice escape from like the grim reality that we're living in now with uh, everything going on and you know school shootings happening which, every day. But even like lower, not every day. What are both of you guys? It's pretty much. Yeah, you it's feels like it. The equivalent, maybe. What do you mean? Hard, the the equivalent you know, to every day is still every day. I'm not going on record saying things are the equivalent of school shootings, um, but some things are just as ghastly. Uh, Pokemon. This will be a nice, uh, which you agree, right? Yeah, I'm, I need to escape from. But that's that, those are mass shootings. shootings, which everyone I would think most of us aren't. That, that we are disgusted by that. Uh, but what about like this? One of your boys needed money. <laughs> and like shoot a bank it was like a drug teller? dealer who's a real scumbag and he told you like hey I, got, I think I might kill this guy he has no friends family what would you be like a, would it's you just shut your lips or yeah oh I don't have to kill him you don't have to kill him but your friend did your friend's gonna yeah I'm probably keeping that one in, in, in the chamber okay just to yourself but you're anti-murder right I'm pro boys though. Like, oh, I don't, fuck! I, never, I forgot I about being pro I boys. My, I don't want to see my boys going to the clink. Oh shit, dude! I I I was preaching anti murder, saying that I but I forgot about pro boys. See, yep. Look what at that. What would you do? Well, that, that, it's not. I guess. I guess. I, guess I would what not. It would come I down would to not like, be an accomplice of first degree murder. No, there's a difference between being an accomplice or being a snitch. Mm. Like if I just told you I committed a murder, but yeah, that, no, but then yeah, and, those and are two different things. If the police come and ask you, did he commit a murder? And you say, yes, that's one thing. If you go to the police and say, Hey, I know about a murder. You're a snitch. Huh? See, once you get into the snitch territory, people are all, suddenly, uh, they're all okay with it. Next thing you know, you know, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need to you need to get away from that stuff. You need to watch better stuff. Yeah, we're going to get you to Azeroth. We're going to get you to Azeroth. Yeah. Yeah. Is that World of Warcraft? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fantastic. We're downloaded. It uh, will probably be streaming. Uh, yeah, we will be streaming. When they hear it tonight. When they hear it tonight. 
I have a question. Is this? Oh no! So what's the difference between World of Warcraft and League of Legends? League of Basically Legends is a MOBA, thing, right? No, World of Warcraft is an MMORPG. Isn't League of Legends like a super competitive? There's like world yeah, championships and, and yeah. Like, but is World, there of, no Warcraft world of Warcraft is Warcraft insanely champions? Warcraft, yes, but not World of Warcraft. Got it. Warcraft is also like a top down kind of like that, but uh, World of Warcraft very casual, beautiful. We're just walking around, we're questing together. League of Legends has like play like rich nineteen year olds who are famous. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. and then there's us. World of World of Warcraft. The biggest World of Warcraft influencer is that kid with long hair who doesn't clean his room. Has never cleaned his room. Asmongold. Yeah, that's his name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's rich as well. Yeah, these these video games are so are filthy rich. Famous. Do you have a PC, Kyle? He doesn't have a computer. That's at an all. issue. It got jammed. So he's going to have to come to the office and use Rudy's. Got it. Yeah. Worth of Worth of Yeah. It, uh, can we fix a jammed computer here, boss man? What? Kyle's computer got jammed. Yeah. He accidentally put a ton of raspberries in it. Yeah. And closed <laughs> oh, yeah, it. On it. Yeah. And it. Mm -hmm. Screen got jammed. Did you try rice? I tried rice. Oh, putting it in rice. Okay. <laughs> no, no. That's silly. That's silly as hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We actually hadn't thought of that. That's a good idea. The, your computer got jammed when we went to Kansas. It, yeah. Long, yeah. Long, long, long ago. It, it, it was a progression of erosion. <laughs> the, Jam and it kept on it, it, screen erosion. Yeah, because yeah. it was only like a quarter of the screen and then it just like inched over pixel by pixel. I just saw uh, Jake Lasovsky had a new laptop and the new laptops, they just turn into looking like the old laptops. Oh, yeah. They don't have that bar. And they're silver. Oh, are they silver? Like they look, I was like, is that a fucking laptop from 2011? He's like, no, this is the new one. The brand new one. So they just. It all circles back. Yeah. I, I can't like wait. They're going to come out with brick iPhones again. I can't wait until so technology like, yeah. is like that same ugly ass dirty tan that like everything was. That yeah. was a good ass color for tech. Yeah. The, the colors back then were. Nah, I guess they were all right. Dude, the, I want the X-ray ones to come back. Oh yeah, those old Macs. Yeah, yeah, those were cool. The X-ray was sick. Yeah. Cute those girl down sick. the street had one. You know who? Down your street? Yeah. Um. Do I? Mm hmm. Who? I don't say it. Okay. I've learned my lesson. Every they time I say a name, they find out. This the day of. Uh huh. Yeah, you're you're suddenly listening to our podcast now that we've talked about you. No, I think it's just word of mouth. I yeah. think probably we have one listener and a lot of, and then it, that one listener is a snitch. All right. I got to download it on my computer. Same as these. Same. Cool. Wow. Classic. I'll send the link and that'll be out. I'm excited for it. We need a name. We'll figure it out. What was the pink thing? What are uh, your guys' names? Crucial intake. We don't have to do crucial Mine's father crumb. My, mine's father crumb. I'm harmonica. My father crumb. Is that what I'm? Crud. Crud. Yeah. Father, father crud. crud. Justin Congrego. And I'm uh, Mork the Orc. Mm -hmm. I like that. Where but you? yeah, I'm um, harmonica. I still like tambourine. <laughs> we can workshop it. We got we got 24 hours. Yeah, we do. I missed exactly. I got to figure out like what voice I'm going to do too. I'm doing my regular ass voice. Same. Damn. But like we can't call each other by our actual names. That's against the RP rules. Mm -hmm. But be. I'm Father Crud, but you could call me Padre. Because <laughs> okay. we're tight. Or you could call me Pop FK. All right. Yeah. All right, boys. All right, cool. All right, all right. Uh, Anus 253? 325. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Dyslexia must be contagious in here. <laughs>